Here in, in Bocastel, we, we still use uh, 13 grape varieties, uh, which are really part of the history of Chateau neuf du pape So we grow all of these varieties separately, and it was made, you know, before phylloxera. And in fact, the Grenache domination in Chateau neuf du pape is rather recent. It really came after the phylloxera and after uh, World War I. But the history of Chateau neuf du pape the identity of Chateau neuf du pape is about blending. And in a way, we have to, uh, to uh, face, you know, a rather Mediterranean climate. And so we need to, to, to balance, in a way, the excess of this climate. And this, this blend, these different grape varieties, really allow us to balance the excess of the, of the, of the climate in certain years. Something which is also very important is uh, the, the climate. Here we are in the, one of the windiest places in Europe, and specifically in Bocaster. And this really has a huge impact uh, on the quality of the wines because we always achieve a good ripeness in Chateau neuf du pape But this wind, this cold wind called Mistral, is really going to lower the average temperature and will allow us to keep a very good freshness and a great balance in the wine. So we grow all these grapes separately. We harvest each of them separately. The harvest is going to spread over almost two months. And we make, in fact, uh, 13 different wines. And only after the malolactic, We'll do the blending, the assemblage, uh, which is uh, uh, in a way a family uh, secret that we have developed over uh, 102 years right now. Mark, the 2007 vintage, I get, you know, floral notes, fruits, the warmth of the sun without being excessive. But what I find truly remarkable, you know, this is Chateauneuf du Pape, deep south of France, big stones, big sunshine, and yet so much freshness. I mean, how, how, how do you do it? Well, we don't do it. <laughs> uh, nature does it. Uh, this is a very unique terroir here. Bocastel is located at the northest limit of the Appellation. It's a cool climate for Chateau neuf du pape And also we have a huge impact from the wind, Mistra, which is going to lower the average temperature a lot. And we are very exposed to the wind here. We really get it full power. So this has a huge impact and this really lower and temper, in a way, the temperature of, the, of this Mediterranean climate. So that's one reason. The other reason, of course, is the different grapes that we use. It's not without a reason that Chateau neuf du pape has always been about blending. For 2,000 years, people have been blended, blending grapes here. Each grape is going to bring its own layer of complexity, but also its own uh, acidity. And, and the key to a great wine is balance. And it's true that in this vintage, 07, which is a warm vintage, which is a rich vintage, you get a powerful one, but you get what is the uh, ultimate quality of this wine, I would say, a great balance and a great freshness to the wine. With wines like that, Mark, uh, you know, when's a good time to drink it? Uh, and at what age do the wines uh, attain its ultimate expression? and evolution. Well, you know, this, the wines of Bocassel are wines which, which like all the wines from great terroir that can age 50, 60 or 70 years. We still drink uh, 70, 62 Bocassel, which are still very young. So uh, I don't know if there is a limit in terms of aging, but I love the wines of Bocassel after 10 years. For me, after 10 years, the tannins start to become, to become slightly sugary, slight, slightly sweet. And that's when, that's when it starts to be a good time to drink them. But of course, you know, you can enjoy this wine very early also. It all depends on what kind of food you have with them. Say a wine, a Bon Castel, 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Uh, should you decant it? And if you decant, uh, how long should you decant? Well, for me, a, a rule would be to decant any uh, wine from Chateauneuf, uh, and I would say the same thing for Bordeaux. Maybe not Burgundy, but uh, uh, yeah, we have to decant the wines of Bocastel, and one hour is, is ideal. Uh, for some vintages, which are, you know, big vintages, two hours, three hours are even better. But I would say that, yeah, decanting is really uh, always a smart choice. Thank you. 
for speaking to Vino Videos and thank you for this delicious wine. With great pleasure. Thank you.